Hello everyone who's watching this, I'm sure you know what this video is about. This video is about adjusting your sensitivity in any game. It doesn't just apply to Counter-Strike, but Counter-Strike's just a good example I like to use. And basically this video is going to show you how to adjust your sensitivity in games to achieve better aim than you would be able to using a default sensitivity or just screwing around with a slider you don't really understand. So first off, you need to understand DPI, which is dots per inch. If you're playing on your native resolution, if you're playing on 1080p, you should use uh, 800 DPI. If you're using a lower resolution, like 720p or something like that, you should use 400 DPI. Uh, it's not a very important rule to follow. I use 400 DPI. And I'll tell you why it's not a very important rule to follow in a second. So there's your base DPI, which you can edit in Windows if you don't have software. If you do have software, you can edit it within your Razer Synapse or your Steel Series Engine or whatever mouse you have. Logitech, I believe, also has a software. Why DPI isn't that important is because in all games, or at least decent games, there'll be a keyboard and mouse section which has the sensitivity. Um, normally, I know this is the case in all source games, this mouse sensitivity is simply a modifier, a multiplier on your DPI. So I have a 400 DPI and a mouse sensitivity of 2, which is equal to having an 800 DPI and my mouse sensitivity at 1. So that basically means that that's a pretty low sensitivity to give you a feel for it. On a regular mouse pad, I don't have one, but on a regular mouse pad, it's going to get you about this far across. Now, I have a, a really big mouse pad, a SteelSeries QCK Plus, which if you're doing any gaming on FPSs that require a lot of precision, um, then you're going to want a very large mouse pad, which will take me on 400 DPI 2 sensitivity or 800 DPI 1 sensitivity this far across which is pretty far. Basically, you want to be able to achieve at least on Counter-Strike, and this is a pretty good rule of thumb for most FPSs on PC that are pretty hardcore. You want to be able to turn 180 degrees because you want to be able to face whoever's behind you and engage them in a gunfight, and then you want to be able to turn around and engage the person in front of you in a gunfight. Um, any more than that isn't, isn't necessary, obviously, because if they're over here, you're not going to turn all the way this way. You're just going to turn like this. So 180 degrees, and you'll be able to move on the map well without a problem. You shouldn't ever have to adjust your mouse pad unless you want to you know, turn a corner. Then you might have to lift it once. But this will allow you to be very precise. If you have a large mouse pad and a low sensitivity, as well as make large movements. And that's really the advantage of having low sensitivity. A lot of people use high sensitivity because they only have to move their mouse a little bit and they can move their character. And it is a bit more challenging to move your character with a lower sensitivity. But you really trade that for a lot better aim. So basically, to find your sensitivity, you can find this map if you're using Counter-Strike. If you have a different game that you can play, you can use training modes or modes that have you shoot targets that come up. I've, a lot of games have settings like that. So basically on Counter-Strike this map is called Training Aim CSGO 2. So it's the second revision. I will link it in the description. And basically this allows you to test your sensitivity and how it feels. And there's settings over here, how large you want the targets to be, how long they stay for. Um, how many you want, the delay in between them after they stay for 0.75 seconds. And basically what this is going to help you do is it's going to let you know how much you need to move your mouse and what you feel comfortable with. So if you feel, you know, um, testing out a sensitivity for 10 minutes that you're continuing to overshoot a target, you want to set your sensitivity down. If you're not reaching it to a target, you want to set your sensitivity up. And I, if you don't have the money or don't want to spend money on a new mouse pad, you are going to want to go for a higher sensitivity because trading, wanting, needing to have to go 180 degrees is not worth the aim needed because the aim you get from having a 
lower sensitivity on a small mouse pad because you, you're not going to be able to engage any of these fights where you have to turn quickly if you have to go this much and then lift and then go to keep going. It's, it's not worth it. So you want to invest in a larger mouse pad or you want to have a higher sensitivity. So basically how this works is there's multiple levels. You can go up the levels and you can go down the levels. You hit start, targets come up, excuse my aim, I haven't warmed up in a while, and you move your mouse and you hit the targets. And basically you can do this a few times and then switch up the sensitivity. And this will basically let you know how good you're doing on that sensitivity. It's also a really nice warm-up if you play CSGO, if you're going to play a competitive map, because it really lets you snap on onto heads a lot better. So that's basically how you find your sensitivity. If you don't want to, if you don't have a program to decrease your DPI, and you don't feel like finding one, or there's not one available easily to you, an easy way to have your D, uh, DPI or sensitivity very low, even if you don't have a mouse that's customizable, is to find the specifications for your mouse online, so you can find out what DPI it is, and then multiply that with the in-game sensitivity, because at least in Valve games, you can set the sensitivity lower than one. So let's say you don't have an options menu to change the DPI of your mouse, but you still want to achieve an 800 DPI with or 400 DPI and 2 sensitivity. With 16 DPI you would need a 0.5 sensitivity. So all you have to do is sensitivity, sensitivity, 0.5. And if you set that to 0.5 for me it'll feel like 200 DPI so it'll be extremely slow. But for someone with 1600 DPI on their mouse, it will be exactly like what it is for me to run on a sensitivity of 2. So that's a basic tutorial on how to change mouse sensitivities, finding out what's best for you, and really this is something you need to know if you're playing FPSs. Without requiring any more skill, it will improve your game just due to the fact that naturally you can be more consistent when you have a lower sensitivity. Let's say your aim is off by, I don't know, a quarter of an inch on your mouse pad one day, you're just not feeling it. If you have a low sensitivity, that real world adjustment, that real world being off is going to be less noticeable when you have a lower sensitivity. But if you have a high sensitivity and your aim is off by quarter of an inch, it's going to be the difference between here and this guy's legs as compared to here and this circle. So it really does make a difference if you have a lower sensitivity, you're going to find yourself more consistently hitting headshots, you're going to find yourself more consistently being able to aim on the target without overshooting or undershooting. So this is basically just to find your comfort level. If you really like a high DPI, or a high sensitivity, I'm sorry, and you, you're comfortable with that, then go for a high sensitivity. And if you're really good with a really low sensitivity, then use a really low sensitivity. You just really have to find out what works for you and stick with it. Once you find a really good sensitivity, you should really stick with it, even if it doesn't feel 100% solid, because you will get better with that sensitivity. And the more you get used to a single sensitivity, the better off you will be in the long run. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to make it because there's a lot of people asking me on Steam and other things, how do I change my sensitivity? So I just wanted to answer that question right here. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.